Hello and welcome to the lobby, GameSpot's weekly hangout every Tuesday at 2 p.m. specifically Pacific, right here on GameSpot.com. I'm your host, Daniel Dwyer. How you doing, folks? What's going on? Video games are happening. Justin Haywall's here, Alexa Ray Korea's here, but we're going to talk, first of all, not necessarily about video games, kind of about video games, kind of about Star Wars, kind of about Disney. What the hell's going on? D23 <laughs> was on over the weekend. My Twitter feed was just like <laughs> a bunch of weird <laughs> shit all happening at the same time. Yeah, I was at D23. It's like the biannual Disney Expo, and because we have a lot of Marvel and Star Wars things happening mm. this year, there was a big Star Wars exhibit, big Marvel exhibits, a lot of news came out of that. We saw trailers for Doctor Strange, and which hasn't started filming yet, but we have footage. Right. And then Captain America <laughs> Civil War. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, Strange, Doctor yeah. Strange. It's still, um, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around that <laughs> Disney isn't, Disney, it's not just the house of the mouse, it's the house of Star Wars and the house of Marvel and like, mm. so when are they just gonna buy Nintendo and... <laughs> That's next, probably. Yeah. So let's start, we'll dive into all the different bits and bobs that you saw when you were there uh, in a second, but like, what, to Justin's point, what's the vibe like there? Because we go to something like E3 and it's like, oh, we're all here for video games. Or you go to like, you know, Comic-Con, it's kind of like, oh, we're all here for like, comics and kind of movies as well. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is like, there's so many pies it's touching. It's like everything from toys to life, video games to like, Star Wars stuff to like crazy vintage Disney stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, what, what's it like there? So, number one, the bar to get in is very high. The tickets right. are like $200 or oh, something. Wow. And they're, it's a three day event. Um, it was, it smelled wonderful. <laughs> and it That's was different. It was not crowded. Like, mm. I, so they had on display uh, the new Stormtroopers uh, from The Force Awakens. They had Captain Phasma's armor set up, <laughs> like, for you. And then they had, like, a display with Ray and Finn's costumes and one of the BB-8 props. Cool. That's a little ball thing, right? Oh, no, he's this big. Oh, right, really? He's, like, this Wait. big. <laughs> was he, was like, like, did you get to see him move? Like, because he's a practical effect that he yeah. actually moves around on scene. Did you get to, like, see him in action? I didn't get to see him move, but I touched him and someone yelled at me. And when, <laughs> and when he turned around, I touched him again. Yeah. So, Great. Um, but uh, the... <laughs> rolling away. Um, the exhibits were roped off, but you could get right up to the edge of that exhibit. Yeah. Like, it wasn't crowded. People weren't, like, smashed around it. It was just people taking wow. photos, moving on. How, how many people were at it? What did it feel like? Oh, my God. I know it's hard to tell, you know. Uh, on a scale of, like, one to San Diego Comic-Con, yeah. it was maybe, like, a four. Like, oh, it was wow. not crowded okay. at all. There was space. Like, I was never caught in a crowd. There's a lot of room to move. Did you have to queue um, up for stuff? Like, get in line? Yes. Yeah. There were, a, there were, like, there were lines to buy things. Like they had okay. two Disney specific stores with exclusive merchandise and art right. and stuff. And the lines for those are maybe like an hour long. All the collectors are gonna be. Disney has that down oh, to yeah. a science. I mean, not just with the, the number of races that they do that, that sell out almost immediately now mm -hmm. every year, but all the, the different pens, now all the merchandise related to Star so Wars. So many and pens. Pens, t-shirt, people, people line up, they will go to these events just to get a pen, just to get this yeah. special yeah. t-shirt that says, I was at Disney at Star Wars on 2014, August 14th. And then they'll you know, do a different <laughs> shirt for the next day. Yep. And they're so good at like, like, this is in a bizarre way, like logistics. Mm -hmm. Like one of the best things about going to Disney World is like going to the car park and seeing like how well they, <laughs> just how well they have that down to a science. Oh, and yeah. everyone's uh, so happy to work there. Like, even the mm. people who's just like, I'm gonna give you a hot dog. He's smiling. Yeah, so I'm happy to the be. The people there were so nice. The, the the attendants, there were shops set up, and there were people, you know, enforcers or whatever. Mm. And everyone was just so nice. I'd get bumped, and people would be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, some of the best cosplay I've ever seen. Like it was just the whole vibe was just magical and awesome. There were a lot of kids. Mm. The kids were all, all well family behaved. Family friendly, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's mm. a very very friendly uh, family friendly convention. Their big exhibit this year was. Uh, they were previewing the new Avatar films. They had like wow, an experience. Really? God, yeah. Like, I totally <laughs> forgot. Like, yeah, right? they also own Avatar. <laughs> sure, yeah. Avatar. And then they had a big setup uh, detailing <laughs> the building plans for Disneyland Shanghai, oh. which looks like it's going to be going to be so. They have a whole Tron ride with the light cycles and everything that they're building. Can you ride them? Yeah, like oh, I, I think that's what it is. And then there's uh, cool. like a Toy Story themed hotel. <laughs> Will it be like, as good as the knockoff World of Warcraft? Uh, <laughs> theme park that's in China. Have you ever seen that? What? It's awful. Yeah, there's a, a fake, fake World of Warcraft. Like that, it, it's a total ripoff. It is a World of Warcraft theme park, but not official in Everything any way. Everything but name. Where is it? It's in somewhere it's, in China. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we should go. Pretty weird. We so, should. We should go. That, that'd be a pretty good. I was. I used to be so video. cynical about Disney and the things they did, especially when I was younger. But now, mm. like as I get older, I'm more. I like. I found it even more endearing, and I'm like, I love going to Disney now. It's like it Disney. is literally a magical experience. It did is. you see uh, Angelina Jolie while you were there? No, I didn't. But I was about ten feet away from Daisy Ridley and John Boyega, who oh, cool. play Ray and Finn in the new Star Wars movie. I saw them on the stage for. Uh, 
uh, Disney Infinity, uh, yes. which has a new um, Force Awakens Force set. Awakens set. Yeah, tell yeah. us about that. They're doing. A, they only showed a brief clip. They showed uh, Ray and Finn. I love. Uh, I was talking to John Vignocchi, yes. who's Mr. Infinity, and he said that uh, they showed Daisy Ridley her um, her figure, and she just like was so ecstatic. And she, the one thing that she said was, "Oh, you got my shoulders right." Like oh, they wow. do, they do those figures so well, and they look exactly like them. But they have the Force Awakens playset. Um, I did get a chance to play the Rise Against the Empire and Twilight of the Republic. I think it's I think they're called mm. the two uh, the prequel trilogy and the original Star Wars trilogy sets, um, and. I have high hopes for The Force Awakens set from what I played. Like, they're a lot of fun. It's very much wish fulfillment. Mm. I drove the Millennium Falcon into the Death Star and blew, and, and blew it <laughs> really? up. And there was, like, this sequence where you have to maneuver to get out and there's explosions and everything. Um, it's the only game. There are the figures right now. Sweet. Um, this is the only game where you can beat up Darth Maul with Olaf the Snowman, <laughs> um, which kind of is something that i Is that I'm, one of Johnny's lines? No, that's no. one of mine. Oh, that's really that's good. I'm, All I'm right. like, really, 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 really <laughs> looking forward to playing it. Um, and I like it. And I've played, you know, some of Battlefront at events and whatnot. But what I love mm. about Disney Infinity is it's just, like, that sense of wonder and that sense of, like, you can do anything. I played as Boba Fett and took down an at, -AT and you can just do whatever <laughs> you want. It's great. That's I love a, it. That's excellent. Uh, yeah. Any other last little bits and bobs that you liked to, to mention from? Uh, we'll get to Kingdom Hearts in a little yeah. second. But uh, <laughs> aside from that, any other little bits and bobs you saw that, like, kind of stuck out to you? Things, things you liked about D23 that you'd probably like to see in, like, say, video game uh, shows that we get to go to all the time. It was so well organized and people were so just positive and everyone was just kind. Like, mm. I'd really like, uh, uh, I don't know, I'd love to see these events where everyone is, I, f I feel like everyone at D23, like there was this big uh, Disney, Disney Interactive panel uh, right on Sunday morning and everyone got like this exclusive, like Kingdom Hearts Mickey costume. Mm for Disney Infinity. And of course, a lot of people go to that panel just to get like the exclusive thing and like the free stuff or whatever. But everyone who was there, like the energy in the room and the energy when we were leaving and sort of that whole mess of cons when mm. you're getting in and out of big rooms, everyone was just really respectful and really happy. And everyone was there because they wanted to be there and no one was really like crappy. Yeah. And I would love to see that everywhere. Do you know what that actually reminds me of is when we went to BlizzCon last mm -hmm. year. It was like I was blown away by how it felt totally different to a Gamescom or an E3. Well, E3 is kind of its own mm -hmm. beast. And even a PAX where like people were kind of rushing around to see everything at PAX. And at Gamescom, it's very much like a get in early, try and see mm -hmm. as much as you can, get to the lines quick. Whereas when we went to BlizzCon, it felt like it was just like a party. Everyone got to go to the talks they wanted to go to. And then the yep. lines weren't that long either. Well, it, it's also helped by not having a, t a ton of different things. I mean, BlizzCon is going to be a very focused event on Blizzard right. games. Yeah. And Disney, even as much as there is so many different things, mm. there, there's enough for everybody to see all of these. Mm. And there were some announcements. We got to see the new console and things like that. But otherwise, yeah. like you get to, <laughs> everyone gets to be a part of those things. Whereas in an E3 or a PAX, like this is your first chance to see a lot of stuff. Mm. And so, yeah, you're going to be in, in a rush because otherwise you're going to be in line for four hours. Yeah, yeah. for sure.